Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Truck Central. Uh, a lot of you are probably wondering who the heck's this guy, we've never seen him before. Uh, well, my name's Chad Sensnig and I own and operate Pristine Auto Detailing here in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. Uh, yes, the 717. Uh, but today I'm going to show you guys one of the better ways to restore your faded plastic on your truck. Uh, so let's get started. Alright guys, so one of the products that we really like to use here at Pristine uh, is the Solution Finish Trim Restoration. This is the black, I believe they do. Ha they just came out with a gray finish recently, uh, but the majority of the trucks take this black coating. Um, it's important before you even apply this to make sure your truck's clean and dry, dry everything off really well, blow out the cracks and crevices, the mirror, these mirrors always hold a lot of water, so try to get everything as dry as possible uh, and as clean as possible before you even get started with this. Alright, believe it or not, this truck is all clean and dry, everything's good to go. Uh, it is a farm truck, it's rusty, it's beat up, uh, it's got a lot of, a lot of scratches, uh, but the customer's going to be pumped when he picks it up and finds out that we've restored all his trim. Uh, it's, a good, it's a good demonstration truck for uh, trim restoration. Before we get started applying the solution finish, we're just going to clean all the plastics with like a 70% isopropyl alcohol to remove any old residue, waxes or greases that are on the plastics. To prep the surface really good for the solution finish to activate into the black plastics. All right, so I have all the plastics wiped down with the isopropyl alcohol, uh, and I cut up this little rag out of an old microfiber towel. It just makes it a little easier to get in the tight cracks and crevices, uh, and you don't have a big towel hanging uh, that could possibly have solution finish on it, and it might get all over the paint. Uh, so that just, this just makes it a little easier to get in the tight areas, uh, and you seem to use a little bit less product with a smaller applicator. Uh, so just a standard rag or an old microfiber towel, just cut up a little, a little piece of it, uh, and then save the towel for next time that you're going to apply it. Uh, it's not the end of the world if you do get it on the paint. Uh, you just want to make sure you wipe it together later because it could it could dry on the paint. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. This bottle does look really bad in the camera. Just apply a little solution finish. You don't need a whole lot to get started. Uh, like I said, there's not a whole lot in this bottle, but we can make it go a long way. So we have solution finish applied to these two door handles here. Uh, went really well. Sometimes, usually if we're applying it on a daily basis here, uh, we'll do all the plastics at one shot. We'll apply solution finish the whole way around, do it all at one shot, and then come back with a dry microfiber towel and, and remove any excess residue uh, from the solution finish. This stuff actually penetrates into the plastic. Plastics, you don't want like a lot of extra excess solution finish on top because uh, if it rains or if you go to wash it, sometimes you'll get streaks from the product. Uh, so you want to remove any that didn't actually penetrate into the plastics. This stuff isn't like some, some coatings that we've used in the past that are like a thicker paint, uh, like a water-based paint that restores plastics. This isn't like that. Uh, we've had problems with that kind of product in the past, uh, restoring like, uh, for instance, Volvo plastics. We put it on the Volvo plastics or like a Honda CRV. They have a lot of plastics. Apply it, prep it properly, apply it, uh, and then the customers go through the automatic car wash or use a pressure washer on it, and the stuff chips off. It's that thick. The uh, solution finish isn't like that. It actually penetrates down into it uh, and doesn't leave a thick coating on top. Um, and the bottle, a bottle of this last year forever. So I'm gonna apply it to the rest of the plastics, then level any excess, uh, and also. 
Also, if you get any on the paint, it's not the end of the world. Don't, don't sweat it, guys. Just wipe it off sooner rather than later. Uh, if you notice a week later that maybe there's a little bit on the paint, sometimes it'll just come off right with like a quick detailer. If you're having a little bit more trouble, it's probably it would probably be like a thicker area where there's like a lot of solution finish. Uh, you might have to hit it with a, like a little bit of alcohol. Uh, but typically this stuff, uh, if myself or the guys maybe get a little on the paint and I notice the, the next day, it'll just wipe right off with a quick detailer. Uh, so yeah, let's finish this up and uh, then we'll see how it looks uh, once we're all done. We got the truck all done, uh, coated all the plastics with solution finish. If you haven't tried solution finish before and you have a truck with faded plastics, uh, even if yours aren't faded yet, they're probably eventually going to fade. Uh, so make sure you get yourself a bottle. I'm not sponsored by Chris West and Solution Finish. Uh, it's just an awesome product and if you don't know about it, uh, now you know. Uh, we got everything coated. I didn't do the wiper cowl. It works really good on the faded wiper cows. Uh, with some trucks you want to remove that and apply it uh, just because it kind of makes a mess and you can get to it a little easier off the truck. Uh, we've already airbrushed the wiper cowl to get inside the fins. Uh, if you don't have an airbrush, you can get like a paintbrush or like a foam, a foam one or a, or a hair one uh, and just get in there with the solution finish and then remove the excess later, uh, allow it to penetrate into the plastics first. Also wheel liners, uh, your wheel well liners, if they're plastic, it works really good on that as well. It doesn't cover up road paint, so if you have road paint, the solution finish isn't a, isn't a paint, uh, so it then it's not thick enough, so it won't hide any road paint if that's what you're looking to do. Uh, but other than that, it's pushing 12 o'clock midnight here. I uh, wanted to make this quick video for you guys. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to Truck Central. Uh, we hope to post in the future lots of detailing videos. Uh, so if you have any ideas or any questions as far as detailing and maintaining your truck, uh, and you want to see a particular video, make sure to comment below uh, and we'll make it happen. So anyway guys, thanks for watching and uh, have a good one.